Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I am gonna go through the tips and tricks that I do that help with my extremely dry skin. So, I know I say it in every video, I have dry skin. I have dehydrated skin, I have mature skin, I have extremely sensitive, reactive skin, and I am prone to hyperpigmentation in a variety of forms. So first of all, when I say I have dry skin, what I mean is my skin type is dry. Even you know, early 20s, I had dry skin. As a teenager, I had sort of normal skin, which was great through my teenage years because that meant that I didn't really suffer with acne or breakouts or anything like that. I've always had a very low level of oil production in my skin naturally. So I have dry skin. That's my skin type, and I'm dry from top to bottom. So I have dry skin all over my body, including my scalp, which is dry and itchy and flaky. My skin is incredibly dry. My skin is also dehydrated because I live in an environment that is dry, almost year round dry, almost desert dry, and I'm in Canada. So where I live, we can have quite hot weather in the summer and it's a dry heat. And then I, you know, in the winter months, it can easily hit minus 20, minus 30, minus 40 Celsius, which is extremely dry, harsh conditions. So my skin is dehydrated pretty much year round. I do sleep with a humidifier beside my bed. So that does help with some of that just air dryness that we have here where I live. Also, we have a humidifier running on our furnace in our house to help with that. But of course, those things only help with moisture in the air when I'm in my home. So just that's the climate I live in. Now, also I have extremely sensitive skin and I think those things go hand in hand a little bit in that I don't have oils on my skin naturally protecting it. So my skin barrier is always compromised. I'm always trying to do skin barrier repair because again, I don't have any natural oils, you know, sort of buffering anything I put on my face. So my skin is reactive. I have to be very careful with the active ingredients that I go in with. Also, I have mature skin. So I'm gonna be 47 next month and that comes with all its own skin challenges. So my skin is getting drier as I get older. I have fine lines, I have wrinkles, I have age spots, all of that stuff. My skin looks the best the more hydrated it is. If I let my skin dry out, those wrinkles are exaggerated. If I get dryness, you know, I'm prone to dryness around my eyes and eczema and my eyes absolutely look older that skin around my eyes looks older if the, those conditions are worse so if i can keep things hydrated and plump the fine lines and wrinkles are lessened that's just kind of how skin works right if it's plumped it's kind of pushed out and those things are not as visible now it's temporary i still have those wrinkles it doesn't get rid of them but it does make them look better, which I feel like is just all we can hope for really <laughs> as we get older, is just for those things to be diminished. I also am prone to hyperpigmentation. So I get melasma hormonally. I had that with pregnancy. So I get uh, hormonal darkening, you know, in certain areas that I have to combat. I get um, post-inflammatory inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So that means that if I get a pimple or a blemish or any irritation on my skin, that will result in hyperpigmentation or dark spots and they will last for a very long time. My skin is very fair and so any discoloration I get tends to last. If I get a pimple, I don't, I try not to pick it. I don't want to say I don't pick it <laughs> because that would not be true. I really try not to pick at my pimples, regardless of whether I pick at them or not. That spot where that pimple was, months. It takes months for that discoloration to go away. And of course, you know, at almost 47, I get age spots. All of those things are made worse from sun exposure for me. So my goal is staying out of the sun and then using lots of sunscreen and products that help diminish those spots. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we're gonna to talk about how I treat my dry skin. So I'll quickly go through what I do in the morning because 
the nighttime is really where I focus on treating the dryness. I will link a video where I talk about my morning skincare routine. So my morning skincare is quick, I'm in and out, and then I wanna be able to put makeup on. So I go in with a cleanser. Now, I, I didn't always use a morning cleanser, but I do feel like when I go in with a morning cleanser now, it just helps that process be quicker, and I don't have to go in with the face cloth and tug as much to get my nighttime skincare off my face. So I go in with the CeraVe. This is what I use morning and night. This is the hydrating cleanser. I use some kind of hydrating clean, uh, cream cleanser. That's my first step. Um, and that just helps remove really my nighttime skincare routine. Again, I don't get oily, so I'm not breaking up oils or anything like that. I'm really just removing the nighttime skincare routine and I want something hydrating to do that. So I go in with this and then I always use a face mist right after I cleanse. I do that morning and night. This one is the one I'm using right now. It is by Hylamide, which is a sister brand to The Ordinary. So you can get this off the Decium website. And this is the Sub-Q Mist Multi-Depth Toning Treatment for Water Density. All that means is it's hydrating. And so I go in morning and night with a hydrating mist. I'm adding hydration back into my skin. That is always my first step. So I go in with this, again, morning and night. And then in the morning, I go in with a timeless vitamin C. Then I go in, which vitamin C, you know, that's just sort of my antioxidant reparative step. So after my vitamin C, I go in with this one from Timeless. This is the Coenzyme Q10. This has lots of hydrating ingredients in it. It has glycerin, hyaluronic acid, aloe, and vitamin E. So I use this one in the morning. This does add hydration for me after my vitamin C. Then I go in with my resveratrol. Then I go in with an oil. Right now I'm using this one from Josie Moran. It's the argan oil. I like an argan oil in the morning. I use a different oil at night, but I do use an oil morning and night. And then I go in with my sunscreen and I use the Australian Gold. So I just wanted to quickly breeze through my morning skincare routine. Again, I will link that video up above and down below. That is not so much focused on hydration as it is you know, more my uh, sun protection. So my vitamin C, my resveratrol for you know my antioxidants, and then my sunscreen. But I do add in the coenzyme Q10 and the um, oil just to help with some hydration to get me through the day. Because if I don't add hydration in the morning, my skin dries out in the day. So those are that's my morning skincare routine. Just gonna keep it brief in this video, but that's what I go in with. Now, before makeup, I will go in with hydrating primers. A couple of my favorite primers that really aid in hydration, the higher end version is this one from Bobbi Brown. It's the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is my favorite. It's just a really thick moisturizer, but it's formulated in a way that your makeup will sit really nice on top of it. So that's the thing. There's probably lots of really thick moisturizing primers, but you know, sometimes makeup doesn't sit as nice on top of them and it will break down my makeup a little bit. This one doesn't do that, but it's expensive. When my skin is extremely dry and irritated, this is the primer I go in with every time. Another one that's not quite as nice as that one, well, it's nice, but it's just not maybe as soothing and hydrating as this one from Good Molecules, but this is very budget friendly. And this is the silicone free priming moisturizer. So I also like this one. It's just a, you know, it feels just like a, a thick moisturizer. <laughs> just. Are you guys getting sick of listening to my dogs? Lou, Lou. Honestly, they sleep all day <laughs> until I film. Okay, so before I get into my nighttime routine, let's talk about the products that I wanna add in to hydrate and heal my skin. That's the goal, right? To get my skin barrier back to a point where it's functioning properly. So there's three things I wanna add in. I wanna add in a humectant, I wanna add in an emollient, and I wanna add in something occlusive. So what I mean by that is humectant ingredients are ingredients that are gonna bring moisture back into your skin. Humectants are products, they're ingredients that are water binding. So they are gonna bring that hydration back into my skin. Things that I add in are hyaluronic acid, aloe, glycerin, urea. 
amino acids, honey, peptides. Those are all humectant ingredients that are gonna help hydrate my skin and bring that moisture back in. So I'm looking for those ingredients, that's what I go in with first. So humectants are also gonna slow your water loss or your hydration loss through the evening, or I mean, you could use them in the morning too, but I'm doing this at night. So that's when I go in, I go in first with humectants to hydrate and slow that loss of hydration through the night while I'm sleeping. So next I'm gonna go in with something emollient. So I do the humectants first, then I go in with something emollient. Those are your oily products. And what they do is they help fill in the gaps between the skin, the dead skin cells, and smooth out the skin and make it look more plump. So those are ingredients like butters, oils, lipids, ceramides, those sorts of products. And they're just really gonna soften out my skin and make it look plump and yeah, smoother, right? They're gonna smooth, smooth out your skin. After I have on my humectants and my emollients, I'm gonna go in now with something occlusive. So when I think of occlusive ingredients, I think of taking like saran wrap and just placing it on my skin. That's how I envision something occlusive. It is that barrier that I'm gonna put on top. It's gonna hold in my humectants, hold in my occlusive ingredients prevent them from evaporating, from losing them, and allow my skin barrier to heal. So those are your petrolatum products. Those are your lanolins, your mineral oils, things that are heavy and occlusive. So first thing at night, I tend to go in fairly early and wash my face. I don't wait till the very end of the evening. As soon as I know I'm done for the day, I'm in for the day, I'm gonna go in and wash my face. The first thing I go in with is a balm cleanser talked about this product a ton. This is the Hymish All Clean Balm. This is my favorite balm cleanser, but there's lots on the market. What I want is a gentle and effective way to remove my makeup, eye makeup included, everything off my face without it irritating my skin, and that's what this product does. So I go in first with that, and then I go in second with a CeraVe, um, this CeraVe product. So this is their hydrating cleanser. It's the same one I use in the morning. Again, full of ceramides, gently removes any leftover oil from the balm cleanser and any residual makeup. Doesn't strip my skin, doesn't make it feel dry. So a cleanse first, then I go in with a mist. Again, some sort of a hydrating face mist. There's tons of them out there. This is the one I'm currently using. Timeless also makes a really nice one that I like. I spray my face down to the point where it's almost dripping lots of liquid on there, right? Lots of water on there. So I do that and then I go in with a hyaluronic acid. So here's my humectant. This is the hyaluronic acid from Hadalabo. This is my favorite. It has five molecular weights of hyaluronic acid in it. So what that means is it has different molecular weights that are gonna penetrate different depths of my skin. The only thing with hyaluronic acid is, I've said this in other videos, I feel like you need to be careful because if you go in on dry skin with a hyaluronic acid, and you don't put any other sorts of moisture on your skin and there's no moisture in the air, this will pull moisture because it's a water binding molecule. It will pull moisture from deeper levels of your skin and actually make your skin drier. So if you already have dry skin, just maybe do your research and make sure that a hyaluronic acid is what's gonna work for you because I feel like you have to be a little careful. It's not like a lotion. You're not just gonna put this on and go, right? This is one step in many steps that I do to aid in hydration in my skin. So that's my second step. Okay, then next I'm gonna go in with, again, a hydrator. This is the next step for me. This is from Timeless and it's the Matrixyl Synth 6. Now there's lots of things in here that are anti-aging ingredients, but also in here there is aloe, glycerin, hyaluronic acid. So there's lots of hydrators in here. This is a, although this has active skincare ingredients in it, it's not like an acid or a Retin-A where I get irritation with those. I don't with this. I don't have to be careful with this. I use this every single night. And again, although it aids in anti-aging, it also aids in hydration for me. So I do that. Then I go in with my niacinamide. I like this one from The Ordinary. This is the 10% niacinamide, 1% zinc. This is quite a thick, let me show you this serum. So although it's doing all the great things 
that niacinamide is doing for my skin, it's also hydrating. Lots of niacinamides on the market. This one though I prefer because it does also help hydrate my skin. And then I also will go in with this one. This is the Alpha Arbutin from The Ordinary. Um, and again, this is that same consistency where it's this thick, hydrating serum so although it's helping with my hyperpigmentation my you know dark spots that are you know from post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation melasma sunspots age spots all that stuff this product helps with that it's also aiding in hydration for me i'll link my evening skincare routine where i go more in depth on the benefits of these products because these are more active skincare ingredients, although I feel like they are less likely to develop irritation. It's not like an acid, acid or a retin-A, but I do go in with these. They aid in hydration, but they do a ton of other things. So I'll link my evening skincare routine so you can see the benefits of those products more in depth, because in this video, I wanna keep it just to hydration, hydrating the dry skin. Then I go in with this product also from The Ordinary. This is the Buffet, plus copper peptides. So I go in with the copper peptides in this product because I want copper peptides added in, but the buffet part of this product is hydrating. So again, I've picked a product where what I wanted was to add in the copper peptides for their benefits, but also there's tons of hydrating ingredients in this product. So that's why I use this version of the copper peptides because it comes in the buffet, which has hydrating ingredients. So then the next step for me, so those are my humectants that I've added in. Now I'm gonna add in an inclusive, occlusive ingredient and this is right now my favorite. I have mentioned this in probably 10 videos because I love it so much. This is the Pharmacy Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. You've got an oil plus honey. This product, oh my goodness, you guys, if you have dry, irritated skin, I don't, this is expensive. So I'm always hesitant to say, go buy this, go run out and buy this because it's like a $65 product. I would hate for you to buy this and it not work for you. But for me, this has been a game changer in my routine. It's a honey and an oil and my skin loves this. I go in with two full pumps of that every night You've got your oils in here that are occlusive. You've got your honey that is a humectant. You've got all these great skincare ingredients in here. So I use an oil morning and night. I use the argan oil in the morning because I feel like that one works really well under makeup. And I use this one at night and I love this product. This has been a game changer for my dry reactive skin. My skin loves this. Again, I do two full pumps. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with moisturizers. Now, for my moisturizers, what I tend to do, maybe what I'll do is I will try to remember this evening to take a photo <laughs> of what I actually look like when I have all my evening skincare on because I feel like when I say I go in with a ton of moisturizer, you visually can't even imagine what that's like. I have a thick, layer of this on my skin. I will go in with a layer of this. This is the one I'm using right now. It's from First Aid Beauty. It's the Ultra Repair Cream. Um, it's just a really nice thick moisturizer. And I, I go in with this. I put a thick layer of this on. What I, what I find with my moisturizers is I'm not so concerned about the ingredients in here because I've already gone in with serums, right? I've already, all the active ingredients I want, I've gone in with my serums. What I want here is just something moisturizing. And so this is incredibly moisturizing for me. I go in with this, I let it sit. Again, I'll try to take a photo tonight so you can see how much I go in with. I put a thick layer of this on. Then I will let it sit and I'll even go in with a second thick layer of this. Once that first layer has kind of absorbed my skin, absorbed into my skin. Or what I'll do is I will layer moisturizers. So I have this Propolis 50 sleeping mask from Pure Heels, and it's more of a gel hydrating product. I'll go in with that first, again, a thick layer. And then on top of that, I will layer 
this product. So usually I'll go in with two, I'll go in twice with a moisturizer. That's what my skin needs, it needs that. So I'll do that, I let the first one sit and then I'll go in, you know, maybe half hour later, back in and put another thick layer of this on. Then when I've got that thick layer of moisturizer on, that's when I go in with something occlusive. This is my favorite right now. This is from CeraVe, it's the Healing Ointment. This is a petrolatum product, plus it's full of ceramides because it's a CeraVe product. Now this says non-greasy feel, that is 100% false. <laughs> this is greasy, this is a greasy product. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a thick petroleum jelly. That's exactly how I would describe this. This is Vaseline. This is a Vaseline product, that's what it is. And it is absolutely greasy. Like why they say non-greasy, I don't know. This is greasy and stays greasy. It doesn't, it's not a product that's gonna absorb into your skin, it's an occlusive product. So it's gonna sit and create this barrier on your skin. And so that's what I use this for. What does this say? Yeah, it's 46% petrolatum. So it has mineral oil, paraffin, dimethicone. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. It has lots of ceramides in it. So I absolutely love this product. You could also go in with Vaseline. You could go in with lanolin. You know, there's lots of products like this on the market. Vaseline is probably cheaper than this. You could buy a great big tub of Vaseline at Walmart for honestly just a few dollars. This one is a little bit more expensive, but I do like this one because I like that it's from CeraVe. I like that it has the ceramides in it. And what I do is after I've loaded my skin up with moisturizer, as a last step before I go to bed, I take this and I put it where it's needed. Some nights it's needed everywhere. And I put a huge thick layer of this all over my skin. Sometimes I only need it around my eyes. Quite often, almost every night actually, I put this around my eyes because I am eczema prone, because my eyes do get dry and crusty and gross just pretty much on a daily basis. I will go in with this around my eyes. If I've got irritation on my chin, I'll just put it there. Quite often I have dryness and irritation around my nose, so I put it there. Just, I use this as needed, but I do put it usually somewhere every single night. This is also great if my feet are super dry. I'll go in with a moisturizer, like thick, and then I'll put this over top, and then I'll put on some socks, and I'll sleep like that through the night. Just be aware that if you use this product and you're a side sleeper or a tummy sleeper, you may get this on your pillowcase, and it may ruin your pillowcase even. I feel like anytime you go in with a lot of skincare ingredients, you know, the oils I use could ruin a pillowcase, this could ruin a pillowcase, so, you know, know that going in. You don't wanna put this on and then, you know, use one of your nicest pillowcases. You could ruin it. But this is, this is a game changer for me. This product, I mean, all of these products I feel like are needed, but when I add this in, that's when I see the best, the, you know, the most, in, most improvement in the quality of my skin. So I use this, like I said, almost every night. This tube does last forever. You need very little of it, but yeah, this is an amazing product. Okay, so that's the things I do you know, in the morning, in the evening. Now, on the weekends, when I wanna add in a little more moisture and I've got a bit of time, I will go in with hydrating eye patches. Again, I have very dry under eyes. The one I'm using right now, this product tends to leak, but I think I got this from Soko Glam. I got this off Soko Glam. This is the Snail Bee Ultimate Hydrogel Eye Patch. And they're just hydrating under eye, you know, little eye masks that you can use. I'll show you what they look like. So these have snail mucin in them. Now, if you are willing to use a snail mucin product, let me show you this. Oh. <laughs> it's very hydrating, but a little bit gooey. <laughs> so I do use those. I use those typically on the weekend when I have a little bit more time. Snail mucin is a great ingredient. 
um, for hydrating. And so I do also from COSRX, I have a snail mucin um, serum that I will use from time to time, mostly when I do um, skin treatments and stuff. But so anyways, on the weekends, I will go in with those eye patches. Those are great at hydrating. I'll go in with some sort of a hydrating mask. The sheet mask I like is by Burt's Bees. I don't have one right now, but I'll put a little picture up on the screen so you can see the one that I'm talking about. That's a great hydrating mask. I love that one. The one that I'm using right now as a hydrating mask is this one from Grown Alchemist, and I'm really enjoying this. This is the Age Repair Gel Mask. Um, it says it has pomegranate extract, peptide complex. I find when I put this on, it's like a 10, 15 minute mask. It just feels nice on my skin. And when I remove this, I do feel like my skin looks plumper. So I'm really enjoying that. So there we go. Is that everything I wanted to mention? I think so. Those are all my tips and tricks for dry skin. If you have dry skin, please leave in the comments below so we can all get the tips and tricks that you have for helping with dry skin. I feel like you know there's a lot of videos I see out there on oily skin and how to help with oily skin but I don't see a ton on dry skin so again I'm not a dermatologist I'm not a skincare specialist these are the things that I do that work for me but please you know talk to your dermatologist or skin specialist that you see to see if these things would be safe for you to use I, I feel like there's nothing in here really that would be you know, you can get irritation from anything, but there's nothing in here that I'm using that's crazy active. I don't think that's gonna cause a lot of irritation. Most of these ingredients are soothing and hydrating. That's kind of the name of the game for me. So please leave any tips or tricks you have for your dry skin in the comments below. I would love to hear, and I'm sure anyone else who has watched this video would love to hear them as well. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch one of my videos. I hope there was something in here that is helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. That would be amazing. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, everyone.